all the even call yeah, you were talking about how you didn't have to actually remember all the samples, that you somehow felt them. Yeah, I have a huge database of sounds, and it's not necessarily that I remember, I'm able to remember everything and all the different cue points I've set in each one. Um, it's more of a feeling, I mean, I can hear something in the music, and I'll say, oh, Maybe some sh you know shakuhachi flutes would sound great over this Middle Eastern jam we're doing, or I could just be get my visual cues by scrolling through my library. Hmm, what would sound good over this? And you know, stumble across shakuhachi and be like, oh yeah, of course. So it's not necessarily having to remember everything. It's just more of a feeling, and I can't really explain it. And um, in fact, just the entire act of playing live is a complete shift from my everyday consciousness into a completely different realm. I could be having the worst day at work or not be feeling well, even be physically ill. When we begin the live show, uh, it's just super focused and completely, um, um, I feel blessed that I have that to go to. It's one of the coolest things that I get to do. Yeah, it's, it's an amazing experience, you know. Can't explain it. Actually I owe gratitude to everybody who's, you know, allowed me to, you know, add my contributions in these. I mean, it's been the greatest gift. The music mm. has brought me everything. Everything I have. It's just given me all my happiness. It's how I met my wife. Um, it's how I've made all my friends. Uh, and it's given me the greatest satisfaction. And it's all been a very natural path. I never forced it. I never forced myself to, um, I'm going to make pop tunes on a certain schedule or that kind of thing. It was always, hey, let's play together. Oh, what's going on? Hey, want to do this over this? And I was consistently busy uh, since I started back in 1989. Uh, and it's all just been one thing to another thing to another thing that has amounted to a uh, vast uh, variety of everything I could get my fingers into, <laughs> and uh, it's been incredibly rewarding. For our audience's edification, like what's what are some of the things you've done? I know you've done an incredible amount of stuff. Yeah, I mean the, the easiest way to do it is if you get a second to check out my website, uh, MrWork.com, M-I-S-T-E-R-R-O-U-R-K-E, and I have a bio up there that mm -hmm. I've. Uh, kept updated, but I've just, you know, played with all the uh, best players I could ever have hoped to have played with in any incarnation of things. Uh, started businesses, had radio shows, made incredible recordings, done a million live shows, played with my idols. The funnest thing that I get to do right now is, I would say, Club Delph, a real way to sharpen my improv skills. I joined that band back in 2001, mm -hmm. I think, was when I met my girl. It was like holy world. Like I said before, I was, I was confined to specific parts, and then I was in Delphi. I just get to use my ears, and there's this whole palette, and everybody's being tasteful and respectful, and it's just like. You know, I should have been doing this all along. That's <laughs> it, everybody. We all think, oh man, when you find that thing, man, I should have been doing this all along.